These are the settings you need to overclock your CPU. Set it and forget it and never worry about it again. No using Ryzen Master, all done in the BIOS and done. All right, you'll need to print uh, items A through D in this article right here. The link's down below, so print A through D for sure before you start making changes in the BIOS. So I'm going to start hitting delete and F2. All right, we're in the BIOS, which seems, uh, I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, that's fine. Put that down at the bottom. Uh, now we're on the Asus Tough X570 Gaming Wi-Fi. I'm going to hit F7 to get in advanced mode. Uh, come over to the tool menu and load up the AZ Easy Flash 3 utility. On the left, you'll see the drives that are attached to the system. One of them's thumb drive. But I put the BIOS on FS3, which is the root of the C drive. I hit enter on that now I can arrow down and see what's on my C drive here and there it is you don't have to rename it if it's in the root of C drive and don't put this in a in subfolders either as the Asus BIOS will crash a lot of the time if you put it very deep in a subfolder so I'm gonna hit enter on that and load it up and hit enter again to read the file. It looks like it's not doing anything, but it is actually reading the file. So let's give it a second. All right, now it's showing what the file it just read, which is the latest January 14th version 3402, and it is a beta BIOS, uh, but it is faster than any other BIOSes yet. So I'm gonna hit yes to update this. Normally this would take, um, five minutes at least but this has already been loaded once i'm just reloading it fresh start that's going to in second flip up a box and say uh, click ok to restart or it'll automatically restart by itself i'm just going to let it restart and get prepared to hit delete or f2 to get back in the bios again so as, you, as soon as you hear that first beep Alright, there's my beep. Watch for that screen. Hit F2 or delete. Back in the BIOS, hit F7 for advanced mode. Now you see our menus have changed at the top. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is set our DLCP RAM profile. You do that right here through the AI overclock tuner. You change that to DLCP and it reads the RAM profile. And now it's set 3600 CL16. And I'm going to go ahead and hit F10, or I can use the exit menu to save these settings and go ahead and reboot. I'm on the fresh BIOS. Um, I can hit F7 to go back to easy mode and show it's that BIOS version 3402. F7 again to go back to advanced mode. So I'm going to hit F10 to save and be ready to hit the delete or F2 to get back in the BIOS again. So that's option A in our notes. All right, um, F7 again advanced. We want to go to um, advanced AMD CBS first one is global C state control we're going to change that to enabled um, next thing we're going to do is the AMD cool and quiet back to the root and it's under also under AMD CBS except this time it's under NDIO options and SMU common options and it's this DF, uh, CF states here enabled um, means that it is the AMD cool and quiet if you don't really care 
running cool and quiet all the time and you want 100 more Cinebench R20 reports, uh, set it to disabled, which is I'm going to do. If you want cool and quiet on, set it to enabled and you'll probably get 100 less uh, Cinebench R20 points. A few, maybe a frame to less uh, frame per second FPS. Set that to disabled. Um, uh, next we're going to go back up and this is where we're setting our P states so I have to change this APDBDIS to 1 and now you'll see this appears fixed SOC P state P0 for uh, no power savings on the CPU or let the CPU handle the power savings rather okay so we have three of these options changed now now we're going to change CPPC, change that to enabled, and one right below it, CPPC preferred code also to enabled. So we've got one, two, uh, we've got one more to change, and that's, let's get back to the top. So I'm coming up here and coming back up in the menus. I believe it's under CPU common options power supply idle control this one needs to be set to low current idle so now we've got everything but all of our PBO options enabled now we're going back to the main menu alright come back over here to AI tweaker menu there's three different places where the PBO or precision boost overdrive is enabled um, first one, I didn't really explain option B yet. It's right here, OC tuner. You want to keep current settings and not use the OC tuner. This is kind of explaining option B in the notes. We basically it'll give you 200 megahertz boost in the BIOS for all cores, but you'll get better than that if you don't use it and you use the settings we're setting right now. So I recommend that you don't use this OC turner. So we're going to keep current settings. Come down to precision boost overdrive. Now these first two we're going to set to enabled precision boost overdrive. All right, that's one place where PBO is set. So we're coming back to the top. Um, then we're going to advanced. And then AMD overclocking this time and accept and then precision boost overdrive. We're going to enable it here. And I'm not sure what extent these override each other, but we're turning them all to enabled. Okay, back to the top. All right, back down to AP. Last time in the AMD CBS menu. And this time it's under NBIO common options. And XFR enhancement. And accepted. And then there's another one right here. You notice I'm only turning on this first one here. And so that's all of our settings in the BIOS. So at this point, we need to save. I could I could have hit F10 or I'd come to the last menu, exit, and, uh, save changes and reset. I'm gonna go ahead and hit F10 anyway. And this it's showing you what all options we've changed. Um, and they'll all be in the notes. I'm just doing a quick check myself. That looks like all of them. So I'm going to hit OK to save these settings. All right, from that same article, option E is the last step. Uh, we're going to go inside the Windows Power Plan. Uh, for Ryzen 5000, you don't need to do this, but for Ryzen 3000, we're going to go into the settings, the Power Plan, to make a couple changes where the um, power settings aren't modified within Windows. So I'm going to search for power and pull it up. 
the first two options I have my PC never to sleep otherwise it's going to slow down the CPU so I go to additional power settings and you'll see for the Ryzen 3000 on this 3700X I have the AMD high performance plan you won't have this on the Ryzen 5000 so I'm going to change power plant settings and you'll see never again so I'm going to advance this time never put the computer to sleep and the important ones here are the processor management in the PCI Express so when we expand these out you just want to check and make sure these are all sitting at a hundred percent active um, 100% minimum processor state, 100% maximum processor state, and link state power management for PCI off. So Windows isn't trying to override the AMD settings. All right, I have some Cinebench R20 results here. Uh, the first one we're looking at is loaded optimized defaults, no settings change. You'll see that um, over here on the far right at the bottom and circled in red infinity clocks not yet set for the ram so no ram profiles loaded and you can come back in just a little bit and check the scores between the two all right this next one here this is with ram only loaded you see at the bottom right in the red square 1800s now set 3600 uh, memory profile and you can see the Cinebench score is slightly lower um, surprise surprise because we hadn't set all the settings yet the next one is after we got all these settings done that um, we already outlined so you can see there's quite a few differences there over in that large rectangle that's on the right side there you'll see a bunch of different power changes system state power change uh, just various others but you can see we jumped a couple hundred points um, 250 points approximately just by getting those changes in so you would be able to compare all the voltage changes on the right and the maximums over there into the core performance uh, up to 4.392 on several cores and it'll vary depending on your load but they can all theoretically get up to the 4.4 max this is on a AMD 3700X I'm going to load up some optional settings in just a second so I'm hitting delete to get back into the BIOS again but here are some boot options I like to change fast boot yes normal after AC loss boot logo if you want to see the Windows boot instead of uh, Asus tough you can change that I always change this to one second and both uh, boots couple seconds faster I change uh, boot num lock to off because I don't use a num lock key. Um, and then setup mode. If you want to boot into advanced every time, which I do, then we change that one. So these are all optional. Nothing to do with increasing power. So I'm in F10 to save. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. That, that's the end of it. Thanks for watching all the way. The whole point of this was making your CPU overclock all the way up and all the way back down using the least amount of power and really optimizing the precision boost overdrive and unlocking the CPU. Thanks for watching. Um, like, please help subscribe. Uh, thanks again. Bye.